Have you ever heard of someone being overqualified for a job? We're familiar with that, I think. However, did you know you can be overqualified for a home loan? The USDA guidelines state that if you have enough money in the bank to put 20% down on a conventional loan and still have enough money to pay your closing costs, then you have enough money uh, available to you to buy the home as a conventional loan and not have to tie, the, tie up the resources of the USDA loan program. There is a caveat to this. You know I love exceptions. The distinction here is if your debt to income ratio is over 36%. Why 36% you ask? Because the conventional guidelines state that the maximum debt to income ratio is 36% as per the written guidelines. Now we know oftentimes we can run a file through the automated system and get a conventional approval up to 50%. But the USDA guidelines state that if your debt to income ratio is over 36%, then you are deemed, you are considered not to have been able to qualify for a conventional loan. And therefore, even though you have the 20% down payment available to you or even more, you're still eligible for the USDA loan because in their mind, according to the guidelines, you're not eligible for a conventional loan with no monthly mortgage insurance, no PMI. So if you have quite a bit of money and you can put down 20%, but you still want to take advantage of the USDA rural development guideline, you cannot do that unless your debt to income ratio is 36% or more. Now, I wouldn't advise... I'm not advising, I'm not advocating that if your debt to income ratio is 35%, 34%, that you go out and obtain any additional debt to raise your debt to income ratio uh, above 36% because you know, that would be wrong or would it? I hope this helps.